Welcome back to Bee Digger Stadium. John Beltran with Dave Urig and videographer Grayson Simmons is the Bee Diggers. Not quite having the second quarter yet as opposed to the first quarter, but we've only played two minutes and 18 seconds of this quarter with the Bee Diggers up 22 nothing, And they face a third down and nine situation from their own 48-yard line. Kukas, the quarterback, once again with two receivers, Garcia and Guzman out to the right, Melendez and Hansen out to the left. Weiser is the lone setback, and Kukas back to throw, looking over the middle of the pass. is caught by Hansen inside the 40, tackled at the 38. It's a first down and a gain of 14 for the beat diggers before the tackle was made by Nick Haight. Just a beautiful pass. I like how Kukas stands up in the pocket. Of course, he's taller, so he can see over the top maybe a little bit better than Garcia, but he just seems like he takes his time as he puts the ball back behind his ear and, and then lets it go. So just a nice ball. Very upright and, of course, a proper follow-through. And you can tell that the bead diggers are making a conscious effort tonight to work on that passing game, especially with a three-touchdown lead. And Kukas is the outside receiver to the right. Again, two to the right, two to the left, including Rosenbrock, Garcia under center. And he's back to throw a very deep drop, setting up for a screen over the middle. Caught by Weiser, breaks a tackle at the 35, and he drives his way as he spins to the 31-yard line, picking up seven yards before he is brought to the ground by Trevor Mendoza. Carter Williams also around the football. It'll be second down and three, a well-designed screen. Yeah, it was. I just wish the university kids would have been a little bit more aggressive coming after our quarterback. I don't think it was because they necessarily read the screen. might have just been because they, they weren't really ready for the pass. Kukas is now under center. Talk about shifting personnel. Two receivers out to the left and right. Kukas with a deep drop looking. Lofts it over the middle. Out there is Garcia. He makes a leaping catch inside the 10 to around the six. And we've got a flag in the backfield. It would be a gain of 25 yards, but I don't think this is going to be good for the bead diggers. And let's see what the flag is. Personal foul. Looks like against Brush. So this is going to go way back for Brush. And an illegal block to the head, apparently. So a 22-yard gain is nullified. And since this was behind the line of scrimmage, it's minus 19 for Brush there. So now they're faced with a second down and 22. Just a penalty you don't usually see. I'm not sure if they thought they got illegal hands to the face when the kid was blocking or, or what it was. Again, two receivers out to the left and right. Kukas is under center. And on second and 22, Garcia in motion to the left. He's got the handoff running wide. A seam to the outside. He's inside the 45-yard line and down out of bounds at around the 43. So he gets seven yards back before he was forced out over there by Jake Dart. And now a little bit more reasonable at third down, and we'll call it about 15. To go back and talk about that catch that Garcia made before that penalty, I'll tell you what, he went up for the football. He had to, not only did he jump up to catch it, but he also had to sort of do a pirouette in the air to catch it because it was behind him. So he really aggressively went up in the air and brought the football down. Oh, that was a fantastic catch. 8.23 to go second quarter. Brush leads University, 22 nothing. Third down and 15 for the University 43. Kukas under center again. A five-step drop over the middle. That pass is caught. Not a first down. He was tackled by Christian Dick as Tony Guzman makes the catch, but it's a gain of 13 to the 30, and it's fourth down and only two to go for the bead digger, so they'll go for it here. You betcha, and that's a good, I'll tell you what, I really like that play because they're going over the middle. You know, they're running those those post patterns, and they're wide open as the corners release those receivers and, and turn them over to the safety. Fourth down and two. This was a second and 22, but the Bee Diggers have picked up 20 yards in the last two plays. Garcia is the quarterback this time. The backs are split. Rosenbrock and Weiser on fourth and two. A hard count by Garcia. Hand off Weiser left side. First down as he pulls his way and backs his way inside the 25 to the 22. It's a gain of eight for the always reliable Connor Weiser. You bet he runs so hard and he keeps his feet driving, just like at the end of that play. He was running forward for the first five or six yards, and then the last few yards he was actually leaning backwards and and running backwards. 
So it's first and ten for the Bee Diggers at the University 22. Your one-stop shop for all of your banking and investment needs, from checking to savings to IRAs, is Morgan Federal Bank, 321 Ensign Street. Morgan Federal Bank, there's a difference. Member FDIC, an equal housing lender, as University has just called their second time out of the opening half, and we still have 737 to go with Brush leading 22 to nothing. This drive started at the Brush 47. I mean, how many times do you see a drive start at the 47, go to the 22, so they've only traveled essentially 30 yards, and this will be the eighth play of the drive, and that's because of that huge 19-yard penalty on that personal foul by Brush, which took him back, but again, they were able to make up all those yards, and University head coach Tom Grasmick wants to make sure that his team has got their heads together and ready to continue playing this game because any time that a team can rebound from a second and 22 deficit, that can demoralize you. But University, if they're going to stay in this game somewhat, has got to show up defensively right now. First and 10 for Brush at the University 22-yard line, lining up on that left hash mark. Rosenbrock is still in that backfield with Weiser. And back to throw, and there was movement on the right side of the offensive line. Yeah, they just barely jumped, and not something we've seen that offensive line do a whole lot of this year. I've been so proud of them, and it's worth mentioning um, Dylan French and and Portese. Don't forget about Brenneman at center, and then the right guard is Austin Acosta and the right tackle over there with uh, Nichols. Those guys have just done a great job of opening up holes for, for those running backs all year. Without a doubt. And... Again, they just had a second and 22. First and 15 is not that bad, obviously, with 7.35 to go in the second. Garcia will send Hansen in motion to the right. And play action, looking to throw, lofts it up the left sideline. Kukas is out there, leaps, makes the catch of the five. He's into the end zone, touchdown on a ball underthrown to C.J. Kukas. He made a nifty move, went up and made the catch and scores. And the bead diggers now lead 28 nothing. You know, it's just one of those things where, just like we talked about Garcia earlier, going up and aggressively going for the football, that's exactly what Kukas did right there. So, you know, it's rubbing off, and those receivers did, you know, Kukas did a good job going up for the football and bringing it down. You know, Dave, the way you're describing this is like nice and casual, like, hey, he was supposed to, which, you know, with that height and with his level of experience, he knew exactly what he was doing. Cardenas to attempt the extra point. Off the hold of Garcia. It is down. The kick is up. He booms another one, and this one is good again. 7.20 to go before the break. It is Brush 29, University nothing on 1010 KSIR and KSIR.com. 